Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Well today we're going to put together this little product showcase. We're going to be using the new plugins for the Divi theme here called the Woo Tabs. And we can put together this little, little sort of showcasing a product item here with a tabs, additional information and reviews and what have you. Nice little way to showcase one of your items. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable our visual builder so we can build on the front end right here. Once loaded, let's go down to where we want to work. I guess I'll do it right below this one we've got here. So I'm actually going to add a new row. Little blue buttons for a section. Little green buttons for a row and the dark buttons for a module within a row. So I'm going to hit the little green button for a new row. I'm not actually going to put any columns in it. Well, I guess I will. I'll put, I'll put um, same as I've done above here, which is sort of, sort of third and two thirds. There we can see now it's prompting us for a module. I'm not going to put a module right in now because I want to put a little background gradient just behind our row here. So let's go to the row cog. Let's go down to our background. I want to put it in gradient. So we've got color, gradient, image, or video. I'm going to go for gradient. Click on the add background color there. And I'm going to simply type in my hex code. Okay, so we've got that our nice blue color there. Let's put in the second color. Same thing. Just going to put in my hex color there okay and then for the second one I'm just gonna make it slightly more opaque so it's a little lighter in color so if I pull this slider down that'll bring the opacity down it and as you can see the bottom of that's just getting a little lighter the sort of effect I want okay and I want this row to be separated from this one let's give it a margin at the top to say 30 or 50 pixels so we'll go to spacing margin top say 50 maybe too much no, I think that's gonna work fine okay now let's start putting in our modules happy with that okay for our first tab here I'm gonna keep, click the plus and Divi just keeps getting better and better and it's easier and easier to use comes by default with all these modules and they've just added 16 new ones, these Woo, Woo Commerce ones. What I'm going to use today is going to be the Woo tabs. So I'm just going to click on that. And there we are, it's in there. If you want to try out Divi, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. I'll take it for a test run. All right, and as you can see, it's put in description additional information and there's no reviews as yet for whatever product this is his latest product so let's choose our own product let's just go with something like the black dress and this probably won't work because i don't think i've got any info for it so let's go with the red dress like we did upstairs because i've got reviews for that so we've got a nice description in there that i have to say I stole from another website but this is not going live so that's okay additional information gives you the size weight of the product and there are reviews there and they've got the reviews here so that's great so let's go about decorating this the way we want it to be decorated first thing I notice I've got a bit of space top and bottom of the row we're going to take that away in a little bit I don't want any space top and bottom and the background for our actual tabs here I want that to be see-through so we're kind of looking at our gradient back there so let's get started I'm going to go down to background make sure there's nothing in there there is nothing in there so let's go to design and our body text I think the body text itself I might just make darker body text color ok 
Okay, the active tab background color. I want that to be our green car. I've got that saved over here. So I'll just copy that, Control C. And paste that hex code in there. There we go. I think the text itself I'd like to be white, active tab color, white right there. And our inactive tabs, I think I'll give that blue again. So inactive tab, I want to be that blue. Let's put that hex code in there. It's fine. And also let's make the inactive tab text color white also. Active tab text color. Here's a regular, there we go. Fantastic, okay. That's all we want to do right there for the moment. Let's go back and add a background color and just pull the opacity all the way down. There we go. And we can see our gradient through the back there, which is what I wanted. Simply just clicked on the color, didn't put a color in, but it's done it automatically. Just pull the opacity all the way down and we get to see through our tab there. Okay, that's fine. Now I want to put an image next door here. Let's just save that. Let's just add an image. And we'll put in the image of the lady in the red dress there. Now I know it's not quite big enough, so we'll have to force it to be full width. That's if you want it to be full width. So I don't want any app background or link. You could link it to your product page. That would be a good idea. Sizing, force full width. Let's do this. So it has to be as big as it can be. That's great. So that's pretty much there now. All I want to do is I want to, I don't want a gap between that and the image. So I want no gutters. I don't want a gap top and bottom. And I just want to add a little bit of box shadow to the, top, to the actual row itself. So let's save this. Let's go into the row and just do our little finishing touches here. Okay, go to the design spacing. I want to get rid of this space top and bottom first. So let's do that. Just going to go to padding and make sure there's zero on the top. Click the link. It'll put the bottom in for you. Zero top. And well, we got a bit on the bottom there, but that's not because of the image. That's because the text here has pushed it down that far. So that's okay. Okay, now let's change our gutters. When we change our gutters, that's going to give this a bit more space and that's going to shrink up slightly. So let's do that. Let's take the gutters away. So let's close up spacing. Go to sizing. And use a custom gutter width and just slide it all the way to the left or type in one up there and that'll take those gutters away. There we go. Now you can see it's giving it more space at the bottom here. All right, and last but by no means the least, I think I'll just add a little bit of box shadow to it. So still on our design tab, close up the sizing. Let's go to box shadow. And just give it a little box shadow. There we go. Whichever one works for you. Maybe those are a little bit too much. There we go, that works for me right there. Okay, let's just save that, save our changes. Once saved, let's exit the Visual Builder and see what we've got. Okay, that's our first one. Let's have a look at our second one. Here's our second one right here. Like I say, that's pretty interesting way of showcasing a product if it's on sale. Like I say, you could have the image linked to the product. You could have the whole, whole row linked to the product. Uh, description tab that works well additional info it's got the weight and size reviews and there's our reviews 
very good so that's a very useful little module right there well done elegant themes i do like your new woocommerce integration modules fantastic so i hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe it really does help me to decide what videos to make next if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our youtube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day